hi guys and welcome back to Marathon CrossFit here and today I would like to talk about an easy warm-up circuit for strength. So currently I am using two warm-up circuits for my strength training. One's, one is the simple and sinister routine of uh, Pavel Tetzelin and um, the other is the one that I will talk about today. Very simple stuff. Um, I like to do um, box jumps, pull-ups, dips and captain of crush grippers. So what I do there, it's also I'm using the uh, concept from Pavel Satsulin, which is called Grease the Groove. So I pick, um, I pick uh, these exercises and do five repetitions of them. I do, in total, I do, uh, I do, uh, how many sets do I do? Oh yeah, I do five sets um, so that I get to 15 box jumps. Um, and um, then I steadily increase so that I get stronger. So how do you increase? Um, so first of all, let's talk a bit about the execution and then about the scaling of all of this. So what I really try to focus on, I only keep it to five pull-ups and I only keep it to five dips per set, um, three box jumps, and I do um, five repetitions with a challenging Captains of Crush Gripper. So for the pull-ups themselves, I do wide grip pull-ups and I do them in a way that I completely activate my core so that I really make everything really, really, really rigid here. And then I pull from the arms, from the pinkies and without any sway or anything of a kipping motion, I pull until I can look over the bar. And then I lower myself very, very slowly. If you can't do five of these chin-ups yet, then start with one and work up to more. And with the dips, the same thing. The dips, I also it is always go to full extension and really that you squeeze the triceps at the top so that you get the most out of it and then I slowly go down until my nipples actually touch my hands okay so that I really go to the slow to the lowest position and then I go up to full extension for the for the uh, dip again so that I hit the the tricep just as hard as I possibly can um, for the captains of crush grippers, I usually use at the moment a uh, half gripper. I might go up next month to the number one gripper. And also on each circuit, I just do five repetitions of those. Um, the whole circuit should be performed not in a rush. So really take your time with it and think about the exercises. Really make all of your muscles activate in it. Think of what areas you are targeting. It's about the quality, not the quantity of the sets. Now, once you can comfortably do five dips or five chin-ups, you start to do them weighted. So for the dips, you will most likely progress um, a bit quicker than for the chin-ups because the chin-ups are more challenging I personally think than the dips so for the dips I put a chain around my neck a 20 kg chain and then I do my five repetitions now also next month somewhere there I will start because I'm feeling very comfortable now with doing five chin-ups without any weight I will start to get a belt and actually hang two and a half kgs, five kgs, maybe ten kgs, um, dangling from uh, from a from a dip belt um, to then do the pull-ups. Or you can scale scale that um, with a weighted vest. That would also work. Um, actually, a weighted vest would be much better than a dip belt. Um, because the weighted vest you could keep on for the entire circuit and then also do your box jumps in that way. Now how to scale the box jumps. One way I already mentioned that is the weighted vest. The other way to scale them is just to jump higher. Just be careful when you jump higher. Um, usually um, the increments in gyms are too high because there's not enough stuff around to actually scale the box jumps in a uh, yeah in a more uh, uh, more convenient way and in a more professional way 
So if you want to scale your box jumps with the least amount of uh, injury risk and the most bang of your buck, go to a Home Depot store and get um, some, you know, some mats that you would use usually for putting on the floor and then st start to stack those on top of the box. Um, because if you do it with uh, blocks that you use for deadlift pulling or all of that, usually the jumps are like this big. And if you do this with mats from the Home Depot store, you can really go up inch by inch by inch rather than, you know, having such a big scale and then pro probably hurting yourself. Um, for the Captain of Crunch Crushers and to scale that, I have an entire rack of Captain of Crush uh, Grippers, which are 10 in total. Um, got it for about 100 USD from Iron Mind and I started on the S and I worked my way up to the half for um, repetitions and it goes up to the number four, which only has been closed by three people. So I think that is a really easy strength circuit um, for you as a warm up, five sets, um, three, box of, uh, three box jumps, five chin ups, five dips and five gripper closes. And then you will have attacked all of your upper body to go on to bigger and better things. So I hope you enjoyed the content. Please like, please subscribe, please tell your friends. And if you have any questions to the circuit or any other kind of exercise in the gym, please pop it down below. I'll get back to you with a personalized answer as soon as I can. Bye bye.